All right. Sunday now. Made some good progress on the crawler yesterday. So let's have a look. Got all this back together. It's looking good. What about down here? Oh, that's looking good. Don't see any new leaks. At least they're on the ground. Cool. Uh, so we've got all that in. It's got coolant in it. Actual coolant this time, not just water. And then, doo -doo -doo -doo! whoa, look at this. Oh, yeah, dudes. Look at that. Last night, I got it running. Um, I wanted to take it around for a little test drive and whatever, but I didn't get time. I spent a lot of time just like putting all the dash and stuff back together because I've got a tub full of bolts and screws. This is my organizational, which is also now fallen over. So I've got, you know, a tub of screws and whatnot. So I wanted to work out as much of that as possible. And the thing was, I didn't know where, I didn't know where most of it goes. So I think I made a big mistake. So I think I put the wrong screws in the cluster and they're meant to go down here. They're a bit smaller, like a small little screw with a thick thread on them. So I think I put the wrong screws up here. So I might end up taking that all apart, but I won't film that. And then I can screw these in and then put thicker screws in the cluster. So it was one of those things, I had everything apart. I just had a couple tubs of bolts that I knew roughly where they went, or they were all interior. But I didn't know what screws were for what, and I was figuring out the system of how Toyota had done it with different size screws. So like I know like a thick screw goes into plastic or a finer thread goes into metal or whatever. So but we're getting there slowly. One thing I want to address really quickly first before I start doing too much is the bonnet. So, I don't know if I've shown this previously, but all of my supports are a bit fucked up. They've all worn off and broken basically. So, I've got some Sikaflex and I'm just going to chuck that on because it's a bit flimsy and the bonnet doesn't feel as um, secure as it should. So you can see here, this moves around, and that means the top shell is uh, not that held in. So I'm just gonna chuck some Sikaflex in here if I can, and on top, brace it back up. I ended up getting a white Sikaflex to make it a bit easier to paint over. Because I've got that um, cool paint that I'm using, I just plan on using some of that. Oh, here we go. So hopefully I bought the right stuff, but I got this. Um, you know, fast curing Sikaflex, it's white. I got really concerned last time that I bought the wrong one that was like the soft one, but they're kind of confusing when you read them, so whatever. But um, yeah, I want to do that. And then while that's kind of drying, I can clean up the garage and I can actually get the car on the ground, get it down, get all this shit out of the way. So that would be cool. Yeah, got all the heater box in, all that. You would have seen that. Seats in, driver's seat was a menace. Just the bolts weren't going in, and then the passenger seat goes in in a couple minutes. So that's always the way. But um, yeah, it's looking sick. It's looking so good. Interior back in. It's so nice. Like to have an interior. You don't, you, you really like, even like the dash. You go, oh, yeah, it's whatever. It's a dash. It's so nice to see that after a long time of seeing emptiness, void, and junk and wires. So to me, I'm really happy just to see the stock dash. So. Stoked on all that. I've got some more stuff to do in here, but looking pretty good, feeling good. I think today's the day to test drive it. Just wanted to show that off. Pretty happy with that, looking good. It's got pedals in it. I can do this stuff. That's pretty exciting. Yeah, we'll get on the ground. Oh, so the plan. Yes, the plan, I've got to say the plan. So we'll get on the ground, give it a test drive, make sure nothing's loose and bonking around, etc. But take it for a test drive, see how things go, make sure there's no major issues. Then I'll bring it back in the garage. We have to do a couple more things. So I've got new uh, steering rack boots. I've got to do a 
a couple bushes in the front end. So I'll do them. Um, I showed it yesterday, but I got my little dust boot for the clutch. So I'll sh I might show you that. So a few things to do. It's one of, the, like, you know what everyone says, the little bit at the end takes the most time. So we'll get that in, get it going. I don't have a list. I got a list in my head, kind of. But I just know there's a few things that I gotta do. So start doing them and cool. Very good, very exciting. Look at this friggin' beast. Cranked so quick yesterday, I was really impressed. I just clicked over straight away, so cool. But yeah, I'm gonna keep going. Talk to you later, bye. Uh, bonnet down here. I'll give you a look at that. So I've just given it a really good cleaning. You can see in the time lapse, like cleanest bonnet ever, I reckon. Given it all a wipe down a couple times. I just use some methylated spirits because that's what we use at work a lot. So just methoed over the whole thing. Got a heap of dirt off. Looked really cool. And then I've gone and ruined it with Sikaflex. Just chuck Sikaflex around a lot of the points where it already was. Kind of space it out. It mostly seems to be this side, so that would be the driver's side, I guess, uh, that's all loose. So this one's like completely broken off. This one's pretty wobbly as well, and then the back end of this one. But then these ones, like you can see, they don't really have much squish. A little bit up here. And then along here, yeah, see they're still pretty good. Like, well, at least kind of seem held down. This one had a bit of flex in it, so I'll put the clamp on there. I'm just trying to make that a little bit stronger and so it doesn't flop around as much in the wind. One other thing I did when I first got this and I was driving it around on a permit and stuff, getting like uh, mechanical checks and stuff, I adjusted these. So these are like a factory little bonnet stop and I adjusted them up. The bonnet was actually real low on here anyway to the guard. So I adjusted them up and that creates more pressure on the bonnet. Just make sure your latch actually shuts properly because that would be, ooh, no good. But um, I just adjusted them up one day while I was at work and that actually fixed the problem. So it was flapping around in the wind. The whole bonnet was flapping. Maybe that's what ended up breaking the supports if like because of that. I don't know. I'm not a rocket scientist. Adjusted them up. Mostly the driver's side, I think it was. So that would make sense. But adjusted them up. They're just a screw and then have a locking bolt. So you unscrew them, then lock them back down. And um, that made a massive difference. If your bonnet's moving around, I don't know what other kind of cars that would be the same as, but KE made a big difference. I wanted to get that on so they can start curing. Then I'll uh, I'll chuck some of the paint that I've been using on the car on that probably. Apart from now, it looks so good. I'm like, oh, maybe it should get some better paint, but um, because it's so clean. But yeah, I'll chuck some paint on that. Maybe not today, I might just get it on. I've got to move this nugget out of the way. So that's got to go. That's got to come out. Like like I'm doing with a bonnet. I showed you this before, how I put a little grommet in there, but there's some jobs you can do on your car if you know you're willing that aren't that expensive and you can just do them yourself. Not everything has to be like an engine swap or crazy big power build. You know, you just can do little things to your car no matter what your car is. Just make it a bit nicer. Like even just cleaning this with some metho and a rag, you know, probably took me five minutes or something and cost two dollars and it looks super nice apart from me wrecking it with sikaflex but you know it looks super clean and cool and like it just makes your car nicer so you know you can do little stuff like that probably no excuses really you know good vacuum you could take your seats out vacuum under your seats even pull your car put up and it's not that hard of a job really but like you know lots of people don't want to do that i guess but you know there's always stuff you can do with your car even if you're struggling with budget so, you know, get out in the garage and do some stuff, even if it's cold. It's not too bad today, luckily, but it's not the best. I'm still a bit sick, so. Whatever, I'm gonna keep going with this. Let's get this bad boy out, I reckon. It's kind of exciting, isn't it? It's been a long time coming. What do you reckon, Snoop? Get your car out? Your car? Where's your car? Ruby, where's your car? Is this your car? Yeah, that's your car. Is that Ruby car? Yeah, Ruby car. 
Ne uvijem tim pojim. Oh baby, I'm a little bit scared, but uh, you gotta do it at some point, huh? It's funny, because I'm used to seeing it on jack stands. It looks like kind of low now, to me at least, like feels low. So that's funny. But um, yeah, it's down. So far, no leaks. The only one that scared me was that, which was just a little bit of water in the fan shroud, once I tilted it back, it came out. But battery hooked up, all that's cool. So um, I gotta do one more thing before we drive. Let's chuck that on. Come on, hop in your car. Come on. Good girl. This is the original, original shift knob. I assume it's a five speed knob. But she's seen better days, but just for for now, you'll see what's going on later, but just for now, chuck that on. Which way is good? Maybe that way. This thing's shagged. Cool. That's on there. You ready to drive your car? Oh my gosh. Scary. I'm a bit scared. Alright, let's uh, set this up. All right, you ready? Let's try this bad boy. Hey, I've been naughty. Don't tell me the battery's dead now. Been sitting there without it on. All right, let's see. Let's just try and get this thing in the backyard first. It's not running that well, just needed a jump. Started first kick yesterday. Crazy dog. Come here. Happy? Sit down. Yes, we'll drive your car together, okay? All right, here we go. It's moving. Definitely doesn't feel like an RX-7. I can't see on that side because I don't have a mirror. Let's hope I don't hit the wood. Alright, we made it out of the garage so we can go backwards. It's a good start. Alright, let's give it a minute to warm up. Oh, there goes the dog at the window. Wow. Still on? Cool. First gear, here we go. We're moving, baby! Quick picture. Right, we'll 
go see if anything explodes. What do you reckon? Pretty smooth. Dog wasn't so squeaky. Hey, calm down. You're not chasing rabbits. Shh. Shh. No, no, no. Oi, that's a bit naughty. Ruby loves the rabbits in this part of our paddock. Obviously, a private road. This uh, road that goes through our paddock. Feels pretty smooth though, feels pretty good. Woo! I reckon successful drive will celebrate with some donuts. Hey, Ruby on donut? Celebrate with a donut, I reckon. Speed bumps ain't shit. Oh. So far, so good. <laughs> wow, nothing exploded. Don't know, seems all right. Cool. Wow. Test drive done. Nothing to say, really. Keep going. Got to do a few more things. That seemed good, though. Actually, might move into the garage, see if it starts again. Come on. She's been absolute psycho today. Just going to put it in the garage so I can see if anything's leaking. Cool. Oh, you're a child of the story, don't